What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this stylish text animation in PowerPoint. Welcome, I'm Dean Salamores and I create design-related tutorials. If you're already my subscriber, thanks for stopping by. Or if you just happen to stumble with my video today, welcome aboard and please subscribe. Moving on, today's lesson is divided into two parts. In the first part, we'll talk about the design and for the second part, we're going to animate. Before anything else, open the selection pane. Then, insert a rectangle and rename it as main border. Remove its fail color and assign a color to its border. Adjust the border width to around 10 points and align this to the center of the slide. This will serve as the container of the title text and the subtitle. Now, insert a text. This is gonna be the main text of our slide. Align this to the center of the main border and change its font and color. If you don't have Futura, you can also use a different font with a similar style. Moving forward, insert a new rectangle inside the main border. Rename this a subtitle block and change its color. This is gonna be the background container of the subtitle. And, insert a new text and rename this a subtitle. Align this to the center of the subtitle block. You can change the color to white and the font to Futura. Before we proceed with the second part, which would be animating, take note that we're gonna tinker with the smooth start and the smooth end options. For the entrance animations, we're gonna increase the smooth end option, while for the exit animations, we'll increase the smooth start option. Before we animate anything, hide all objects except for the main border since we're gonna start with that. Then, open the animation pane. Apply a fly-in animation to the main border and change its direction to the top left. Slightly increase its duration to 1.50 seconds. We will need to cover the animation to make it appear like it's emerging from a point. To do that, create shapes around the border and don't forget to rename these covers. Let's see what we have now. As you can see, the left and the top borders don't show when the main border animation starts. And that's not what we want. We have to make the left and top borders slide together with a border. So, to do that, we need to insert lines that would compensate for the missing parts. Insert a line, rename this as left border, and send this behind the top cover. Through the format painter, we can apply this style from the main border but change the color temporarily to make it distinguishable since we are still gonna animate this. For the animation, apply a fly-in animation and set the direction from the top. After setting this to with previous, increase its duration similar to these animations before it. Lastly, max out the smooth end option. Let's hit preview to see what we've done. That's exactly what we want for the left portion of the border. For the top border, just duplicate this line. Rename this as top border and then send it behind the left cover. Change its orientation by rotating it manually or by holding down the Alt key while pressing the left or right arrow on your keyboard.
Lastly, change the effect direction to the left. Now, let's hit preview to see what we got. Select the main border and add a flyout animation. Set its duration to just a second. Change its direction to bottom right and max out the smooth start. Now, we have a flyout animation. Therefore, we need to cover this up. Create shapes to cover the right and bottom side. We are essentially doing what we've done with the upper left side earlier, but with the opposite side now. Next, we are going to add a fade to both left and top borders to make them disappear. Decrease the duration as well. We'll need to show that the right and bottom borders are shrinking relative to the main border as it flies out. Duplicate the top and left borders because we're gonna utilize these as borders of the right and bottom borders. Rename these two and remove their animations also. Select them both, add a fade animation, and decrease the duration. Reorder these animations and bring them before the exit. While the right and bottom borders are selected, add a flyout animation and match its duration to 1 second. Change the direction of the bottom border to the right. Finally, change the colors of the shapes and borders to their intended styles. Now that the border is done, we'll now proceed to the text animations. Enable the main text and add a fly-in animation to that. Apply a 0.50 second delay, smoothen this out, and increase the duration to 1 second. We can also spice this up a bit and add some delay between words. Bring this up with the starting animations as well. Next step is to add an exit animation to this. Simply add a flyout animation to the main text. Set the duration to 0.50 milliseconds. Max out the smooth start and add some delay between words. Let's take a look to what we've made so far. As you can see, the main text animates from the bottom half of the slide but we don't want to show where it's coming from. So, we need to add a shape that would hide that off. Create a rectangle. Send this behind but just right above the main text. Select the main text and its cover and send both to the back of all objects. Next, we're going to work with the subtitle. But first, enable the subtitle block. Add a fly-in animation to this and set the direction from the bottom. Move this up with the starting animations. Max out the smooth end option, increase the duration and apply a 0.75 milliseconds delay. Moving on, let's add a fly-out animation to this shape. For the last object to animate, enable the subtitle text and add a fade animation. 
move this animation up and apply a 1.25 seconds delay. While the text is selected, add a fade animation. Set this to with previous and decrease the duration to 0.25 milliseconds. There you go! If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. You may also share this to your friends or family. And hey, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.